getting right to the three things you need to know to start your morning. The first thing, a reality check for the U.S. consumer and the Federal Reserve. We're not done with high inflation yet. Consumer price increases sped up again in January, up half a percent as measured by the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. What we call the core number that backs out energy and food rose 0.4 percent. And when economists talk about sticky inflation, that is where they see it. That is also the number that the Federal Reserve watches, and that could mean the Fed has to raise interest rates more to fight inflation. The second thing you need to know, Ford is shifting up a gear as it looks to secure its place in the EV market. It's cutting nearly 4,000 jobs in Europe over the next three years. The pain will be felt mainly by workers in Germany and the UK as Ford looks to save costs on its way to an all-electric fleet by 2035. The wheels are also in motion to build a $3.5 billion EV battery plant in Michigan. That's with the help of Chinese partners. The bigger picture, CEO Jim Farley wants Ford to be more efficient and quickly, especially after last week's rocky earnings report. And on to thing number three, higher prices don't seem to bother Coca-Cola consumers too much. The drinks giant brought in higher revenue than Wall Street expected in the fourth quarter, demand holding steady despite the inflated price tag. Not all cheer, though. Things got a little flat in Coke's sparkling soft drinks, water and sports divisions, and European volumes are still taking a hit as the region battles decades-high inflation. Momentum is expected to slow this year, with organic revenue growth seen between 7 to 8 percent. That's a big change from 16 percent in 2022.